What's up everyone, Greg's Gauntlet here, and here are 10 hidden features on the iPhone 10. Now, one of the first features I wanted to cover was reachability. This is a feature on the plus size models of iPhones that allowed you to double tap the home button to have the app icons come halfway down the screen, so you could reach the top of the screen with just one hand. Some users love this feature, so it would be a shame to see it go away. Now, the first conclusion you might jump to is that there is no home button, so reachability must be gone, right? Fortunately, the feature is still here. First, go into settings and then to accessibility. You'll find the reachability setting here. Enable it, and all you have to do is slide from the bottom of the function area at the bottom of the screen to access reachability. The second thing you might not know about the iPhone X is that it will automatically lower alarms, timers, and notification sounds if you are actively using the phone, thanks to the Face ID sensor. Your timer is set for five seconds. As you can see, as I started using the phone, the volume on the timer actually got a lot lower. So let's go ahead and see how the timer sounds when you're actually using the phone while it activates. And because you're actively using the phone and staring at it, it automatically starts at that lower volume. The sensor also keeps the screen lit up when you are looking at it, and it will actually start to dim the screen faster when you look away from your iPhone. Now this fourth feature definitely started to bug me when I thought it wasn't on the iPhone X. I usually like to see the status of my battery percentage. That actually isn't available because of the notch design. You can't actually see it on the top of the screen. And if you even go into the battery settings like you normally would to enable the battery percentage, there's only the option for a low power mode. So at first glance I thought, okay, maybe you can't access battery percentage on the iPhone X, but actually if you go into the top corner and you scroll down here, you can actually find your battery percentage right here. It's not as good as seeing it all the time, but thankfully you can still access and find your battery percentage. Also, the ears on the iPhone X aren't just for show. You can actually utilize them to automatically scroll to the top of a page. It works similar to tapping the top on a previous iPhone model, but for the X, all you have to do is tap either the left or the right ear, and you will automatically scroll back to the top of the page. How do you close an app? Swiping up, right? Well, that doesn't quite work on the iPhone X because swiping up brings you back to the home screen. No matter how many times you do it, Swiping up just brings you back to the home screen. It's like the new home button. Because we don't have a home button and swiping up now brings you to the home screen on the iPhone X, you might be wondering, how do you force quit an app? This took me a little while to figure out, but all you have to do is hold your finger over the app when you're in the app switcher mode, and red cancel buttons will appear. All you have to do is tap to close the app, and the apps will start to close. Technically, this seventh feature has been covered before, but it is a little hidden, and it is a great power tool for switching through applications. You can switch apps quickly by just swiping your finger on the bottom of the screen next to the small black bar. This function area allows you to swipe back and forth between your apps, and it's very handy for switching between frequently used applications. And again, this feature has technically been covered before, but if you are new to iPhone X and you haven't been keeping up on everything, you might not even know that this feature exists to quickly switch between applications. It's actually pretty well hidden. Face ID also has some more hidden features, including automatically hiding your notifications. If Face ID has not authenticated your face, the lock screen will give you a generic notification. As soon as Face ID detects your face, your notifications will automatically show more detail. This is a nice feature, especially if you don't want people trying to read your sensitive information. Additionally, Face ID can also autofill account names and passwords from iCloud Keychain. I was pleasantly surprised with this feature, and it saved a lot of time logging into websites on the new phone. The iPhone X also has a 120Hz refresh rate. Now, the screen itself isn't displaying at 120Hz, but the touch responsiveness has moved up from 60Hz to 120Hz, so every time you place your finger on the screen, it automatically kicks up to 120Hz. So it's not quite pro motion like the iPad Pro, but it does make everything super responsive responsive still. You might not see it in terms of the frame rate, but when you go to touch things, drag and drop them, any interaction you have with the phone with just tapping an icon or using it is just super smooth and very responsive. There are so many features packed into the iPhone X, it's hard to cover them all in one video, but these are the hidden features that stood out to me the most in my first day of use. Let me know if you find any hidden features in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.